Professor Dave again. Let's learn how to ask questions in Italian. He knows a lot about all kinds of stuff. Professor Dave explains. The word interrogative derives from the Latin rogare, which means to ask. So interrogative clauses are sentences that end with a question mark. The simplest questions in Italian don't really need any interrogative words. They can be asked by using the same words and word order you would use in a normal statement. This will require just a slight change in the intonation. For example, we could make a statement. Hai mangiato il pollo? To turn this into a question, we just make it sound like one. Hai mangiato il pollo? One may wonder how to translate simple phrases like do you, did you, will you, or would you, thinking some form of to do is required. But in Italian, these phrases are built into the verbal form. A slightly modified version of this approach involves using subjects or objects in strange places. This can be done to place emphasis on a particular word. Using the previous example, we could ask, Hai mangiato il pollo tu? This asks, did you eat it, as opposed to someone else. Or another way, il pollo, l'hai mangiato? This asks whether you've eaten the chicken, as opposed to something else. But again, this question is of a type that requires only a simple yes or no answer. So just the intonation of your voice can be enough to let the listener know that you are asking a question. Let's move on to more complex situations. The majority of interrogative clauses are introduced by special words called interrogative pronouns, adjectives, or adverbs. One important word to know will be key the personal pronoun that means who or whom. Unlike English, where who is used as a subject and whom is used as an object, in Italian there is no difference. It will always be chi. Here are some examples with chi. Chi ha telefonato? Chi hai visto alla festa? Now that we know how to ask who, how do we ask what? For this, we typically use che cosa, but we can also use cosa or che. Surprisingly, these all mean the same thing. And just like chi, they can be used as a subject or object. Che cosa hai preso al bar? Che cosa c'è alla televisione stasera? Now that we can ask who and what, let's learn to ask how. For this, we use come. Let's first differentiate come from come. Come, with emphasis on the O, simply means how. If we want to ask how is, we shorten come by replacing the E with an apostrophe and then add the word e, which means is. This E is open and stressed. Come. Let's use both of these now. Come stai? Come ti chiami? Come la birra? That covers who, what, and how. Now we must ask where. This will require the word dove, with stress on the O and a closed vowel sound. Dove can be used for both where and to where. Also, just like come, it can be used with the verb to be, which shortens dove to become dove. Dove posso sedermi? Dove hai parcheggiato la macchina? Dov'è il mio posto? Dov'è la tua casa? Now let's learn how to ask when. This will require the word quando. Quando vieni a casa mia? 
Quando tornano i tuoi genitori? Another word we need to know is why. This will be perché. This will be used anytime you want a reason for something. Perché non mi hai telefonato? Perché non vuoi uscire con me? Finally, there are some adjectives we need to know that will help us ask questions. We may want to ask which one. This will require the word quale for the singular and quali for the plural. Quale also has the variation qual è, which means which is. Quale film preferisci? Quali scarpe preferisci? Qual è il tuo film preferito? Quale macchina guidi? Qual è la macchina dei tuoi sogni? We may also want to ask how much or how many. This will require the word quanto, which unlike quale has four forms. Quanto and quanta for masculine and feminine singular, as well as quanti and quante for masculine and feminine plural. Quanto gelato vuoi? Quanto zucchero metti nel caffè? Quanta pasta vuoi? Quanta neve è caduta? Quanti anni hai? Quante persone vengono a cena? So now we know how to ask questions regarding who, what, how, when, where, why, which, and how many. To wrap things up, let's recall that interrogative pronouns and adjectives can easily be used with prepositions. Here are some examples. Di chi è quello zainetto? A chi hai telefonato? Con chi lavori? Per chi è quel bel dolce? Con che cosa posso scrivere? Di che cosa stai parlando? Per quale compagnia lavori? Con quanti soldi vai in Italia? And now you're ready to ask all kinds of questions in Italian. Let's check comprehension. Thanks for watching guys. Subscribe to my channel for more tutorials. Support me on Patreon so I can keep making content. And as always, feel free to email me, ProfessorDaveExplains at gmail.com.